In this video, I would like to go over the process of putting together a large image from a few smaller images. Uh, something like this might occur if you've taken pictures and you want to put them together in a panorama, or if you have a drawing, a painting, something like that, that you've scanned in on a flatbed scanner and you want to reassemble digitally. So this image is an example of a screen printing that I had done. Um, that was uh, I think 24 by 36 something fairly large that I had to scan in individual pieces and then put it back together in Photoshop so this is what the final product looks like and the individual scans that I did um, after being cleaned up a little bit look something like this so I have the head in one section the torso area and then the bottom and three different parts there's a couple of ways to put something like this together, um, but one of them, and you know, the easiest way, is to use something like Photo Merge. So that's the one I'll do first. So to use something like Photo Merge, you go up to, uh, let's see, File, and Automate. And down at the bottom of Automate, we have Photo Merge. And this is where Photoshop you know, basically does it for you. Okay, so once we get the screen open like this, you'll see that there's a variety of options over here on the left. And this is going to depend a little bit on the kind of images you're working with and what you want the final outcome to be. I tend to find that auto works perfectly well, so I'm going to leave it at that. And I could say add open files and it would use all the files that I had open. But if I wasn't ready for that or you know I needed to search for them, I can say browse and look for them in my uh, folder. So I have rat one, two, and three all ready to go here. So I'll just shift and click all three at the same time. Say okay. Notice at the bottom, I have blend images together checked because that's what I want it to do and it will kind of work that out for me. I could say vignette removal if there was that darkening around the edges. These don't happen to have that, but that can be uh, you know, a nice trick as well. So at this point I have those three images that I just showed you together and I'll say OK. And now Photoshop's going to think for a little bit and work on putting these together. So it's going to be doing the, the tricky work of lining up the lines and things like that for us. Sometimes this works really well, and sometimes you get very peculiar results. It really depends on the kind of image you're working with. Something like this that's very graphic, it tends to figure out uh, you know, pretty well. But I'll be showing you how to do it by hand as well in case photo merge doesn't work for you. Um, it's kind of hard on the RAM. It depends what size computer memory that you're working with. Uh, so sometimes it can just be a little tricky. And notice over here in the layers menu, you can see that it's actually put them in the right order. So we have the head on top, the torso in the middle, and then the feet on the bottom. So it's actually putting it together properly. Sometimes you get strange results. Okay, so here we have the rats all assembled. So Photoshop was able to figure this out pretty well. And if I zoom in a little bit, you'll see that I have kind of a weird seam here that, um, as I zoom in, it actually starts to disappear a little. I will just highlight that bottom layer, and if I arrow down, you'll see that it almost looks like the paper is torn. So if I just kind of scoot that up maybe one or two places, it'll fuse that together. So at this point, I have my rat reassembled. Over in the uh, layers menu, I could then just come in and flatten it once I'm happy with it, if I don't need to shift it around and we're all set to go here. Now, if that didn't work or you want a little bit more control over the process, what we can do is actually open up a new canvas and then insert them manually, and that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'll go to File and New and open up a new canvas. This point, I'm gonna change that to inches, and this happened to be at 600 for the resolution it was scanned in pretty high so I'll leave it there and you know I might even make this a little bit bigger than I think it needs to be so I'll make that 11 inches wide in this case 
and maybe, um, let's see, I think maybe 14 for the height. Say OK. So I have a new blank canvas. At this point, I can go up to File and Place and bring those three pieces in individually. So right now I'm bringing in the, the first part, that's the head. And I know I want this to be up at the top. So I'll bring that up here, get it about in position, hit Enter. Then I'll do a file in place to bring in the next section. And keep in mind that when I bring these in, they're all coming in as smart objects so that I can, you know, scoot them around and manipulate them a little bit without losing image quality, without having any pixel degradation or anything like that. All right, so I have all three pieces here. They're individual, so they actually kind of come in in the opposite order. So I have, you know, the feet on top, the head on the bottom here. That doesn't really matter so much, but if I wanted to, remember, you can just flip the layers around in Photoshop. So the first thing we'll look at is the head portion. I'm just going to take the head and I'm just going to move that up a little. Okay. All right. So that's looking pretty good. Then I have this middle portion, the torso that I just need to line up, right? So the easiest way to go about this is to make one of the layers fairly transparent so you can see through it. So I might come in and select that head layer and reduce the opacity quite a bit. Okay, maybe something like that. And I'll zoom in a little closer. And now using my move arrow, I can move that second layer and line those up. It's looking pretty good. Sometimes it's really good to get super, super, super close, and you'll see that this area isn't quite working. And then I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard, and you can actually really get quite precise. Okay, so that's looking pretty, pretty good. I'll come in and bring the opacity back up on the head. Okay, so that one's looking, you know, nice and lined up. Then I'll come down to the bottom here. Then I'll make that torso portion very see-through. And I can move the bottom up. Okay, so I might get it pretty close from way out here. And then I'll zoom in. And we can see how there's, uh, you know, this area that's not quite working. I'll use my arrow keys again and there's always that really gratifying moment when it finally lines up okay then I can take the opacity back up on that layer and if I wanted to, I could grab all three of these and move the whole thing down to center it on my canvas a little bit better. There we go. And once we're happy with it, we can, of course, flatten the entire image. And you have a large, high-resolution image put back together from three smaller pieces.